Hello, and welcome back to Zachary Snackery. I'm Zachary, and joining me today, we have a very special treat. Lauren Hess is with us, and she is a New Paltz student and representative of Wilklow Orchards. She's going to be teaching us how to make not one, not three, but two snacks. <laughs> Lauren, how are we doing? I'm doing great, Zach. You know, I love the fall. You have your sweaters and your boots, and the leaves are changing, but you can't beat the snacks. You cannot beat the snacks. And you know, it's apple season. And like you said, we have not one, not three, but two apple treats today. Mm -hmm. So we have our apple nachos and our apple monster mounds. Now, before we get to either of these, I just want to compliment you on these apples. They are wonderful. Oh, well, thank you so much. They are fresh from Wilco Orchards, and we actually just picked them this morning. Wow, incredible. But like, how do I get this apple into a nacho? Well, let's start with the ingredients. All right. Come over here. You're going to need 10 sliced apples, one bag of caramel, one bag of marshmallows, and you can get some peanut butter, ground cinnamon. You're going to have a bunch of assorted toppings, whatever you really would like. So mm -hmm. we have some like peanut butter chips and some sprinkles here. To get started, you're going to want to take your apples. You want to cut them up. You can use like a regular kitchen knife or an mm -hmm. apple cutter, whatever you have handy that you prefer. And once you got them all cut up, you're going to place them on a plate and you're just going to arrange them however you like. Okay. And after you do that, you're going to move on to your marshmallow mixture. Mm -hmm. You take your marshmallows and put them in a saucepan with some butter and keep it on low heat and just check in on it, make sure it's nice and smooth. While that's sitting, you're going to move on to your caramel mixture. And for that, you're going to take your caramels and pop them in a little bowl, add some water, pop it in the microwave and just keep checking on it every 45 seconds or so until that's also really nice and smooth. And once that's all done, you can add more apples and add a few here. Why not? You can take never have too many apples. A you big know? nacho, you know. Then you're going to take your sauce and you're just going to drizzle it all over these apples like so. However much you want. I like a lot of caramel in mine, so. Same. <laughs> so once you do that, you can add your toppings. So would you like some peanut butter chips? I would love some peanut butter chips. <laughs> Let's throw them on there. We got some peanut butter chips. And there you go, you have your apple nachos ready to go. That looks so delicious. Would you mind if I ate one? Oh, please, yeah, try one. All right. Uh, let's go with this one. Yeah, no, that one looks good. Yeah. Got some peanut right. butter on it. <laughs> it's like heaven on an apple. Oh, well, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> let's move on to the next thing we've got. Oh, well, that would be our monster mouse. So monster mouse. Let's come on over this way. Mm -hmm. And you have your monster mouse station and for this you're going to want about four apples and you're going to cut them up uh, a cup of peanut butter and some marshmallows mm. now to do this you're going to want to cut your apples into a few slices take your apple and you're going to smear some peanut butter on one side not two just one side okay you place that down take a couple marshmallows however many you want and you're going to line them up to make them look like little teeth <laughs> and then you're going to take another apple slice, put peanut butter again on just one side, and then you put that on top, and you have mini apple monster mounds. Oh, Let's take a peek at them here. my <laughs> goodness. That, it's like a mouth on an apple. It is. It's delicious, and now, kids love them. Yeah. One quick question, though. Mm -hmm. I had a nickname in high school, Mr. Sustainability. So how can I make this meal sustainable? Well, the best part about these two desserts is you have a lot of leftover apple scraps. And what you do with those is just throw them in a bin with some soil and then put that in your garden as like a little compost. And it's good for your plants and really good for the earth. Man, it's good for everyone. Yeah, everyone S wins. <laughs> so is the snack, which is why I'm going to have a party and I'm going to serve them at them. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> you can come through if you oh, want. I'd love to. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Lauren. And thank you guys for watching Zachary's Snackery. I'm Zachary. Join me next time where we'll be eating more snackeries with me, Zachary.